Coach, obviously, congrats. Historic day for the program. Just take me through the mindset when you decided, hey, you're going to give the ball to Ali on this day and try to get the sweep. Yeah, um, you know, you would think that with the rotation, Bree would start, and that's what we would typically do and normally do, but um, it was just teed up for perfect timing of, you know, sweeping a, a series, being at home, playing on Sunday, um, and with the bats going the way they were, I mean, it, it was just the right time. And what's more incredible than even this milestone is just how much her entire team wanted it for her. Um, they were so excited. They, you know, they were planning it out and uh, talking about it, but trying to keep it cool with, in front of her. So um, that just speaks to what her, what type of person uh, Leah is and what type of teammate she is. Congrats. Um, take, take me through when she recorded the final out and the team surrounded her. What was the first thing you said to her when you got to her? Um, I said, now I can finally talk about it. <laughs> uh, and then I said, congratulations. Uh, and just so proud, proud of her. She deserved it. Um, I couldn't think of you know, a better person to, to lead our program um, and continue to be able to lead our program. So, um, and just, a, it's an honor to be a part of it and be there with her. Love handing her the ball before every game. So I asked Aaliyah, this was, you guys played at FGCU last weekend away. So this weekend being the first series at home in nearly a year since COVID happened, obviously Aaliyah gave me her emotions as a player. How about coaching those players and getting to see their enjoyment of playing at home? What were your emotions like throughout this weekend in the series? Um, it's crazy that you say it now. And obviously it makes sense that, you know, we're playing at home again. It's been a while. I have literally had the butterflies all week. Um, and I, you know, I thought it was maybe I was drinking too much coffee or something and it was just making me amped up, but, um, it's, I have just been super anxious and excited for this. And I guess that, uh, you know, one of our other leaders, Kira Klarkowski could tell, uh, cause she came up to me today and she said, uh, I know it's a COVID time, but coach, do you need a hug? And I guess she just, she could feel that I was just so excited uh, for this time in this moment. Um, you know, Eric talked about it as a player doing this. It's pretty fun as a coach. It's even more special uh, because you get to witness someone else doing it and being a part of someone else's success is I, there are no words to describe it. Well, let's expand on that. You've got a, the record book at Pacific has got your name all over the place. So you can, you're can you one of the few people that can relate to what Leah's been going through with the record and chasing the records of some legendary pitchers of this program. You've mentioned that you have not brought it up to her, but did you have some flashbacks as a player going through that as you were breaking records with Coach Cozy and seeing that today with Aaliyah there? And I know you both had a, a big emotional hug there at the end. Yeah. Um, I think, you know, for me, it's, it's just helped me to know that just keep treating every day as, as you would. Um, and, and that's what I did with her. You know, I know she'd look at me and I look at, I, she was probably looking for like a little bit more and I just would say, Hey, see you tomorrow. You know, here's the ball, go lead your team. Um, and just keeping it simple and doing as we would normally do. So, um, you know, I, I could, I could lie to you and say like, it, it's prepared me for certain things, but um, even I was kind of like, should I call coach and ask him what he did? And, you know, those kinds of things. But, um, yeah, I, I also think that Aaliyah is just awesome and she probably led us all in how we should act. Um, and it's not about her. And she always pushes that, that camera away from her and that spotlight away from her and pushes it onto the team. And that's why, she's the right person for, for this milestone. And, and we are all so incredibly happy for her. The offense was obviously incredible this series. Eight runs scored today, and that was the lowest. Um, it seems like a new player was stepping up every game. How does that kind of speak to the talent you have? Well, that's, that's our plan. That's our offensive plan is we erode the pitcher and the defense. And it's not just one hitter in our lineup, right? So... Um, and, you know, we talked about it last night. It's going to start to get a little bit tougher for Georgia Blair with 
people pitching around her and then maybe she gets a little amped up when they start throwing to her. Um, and so, uh, you know, we, we need the other people in our lineup to do what they do. And we've got speed, we've got, you know, we can put the ball in play, we still have power. So um, one through nine, and I'll say, I'll go as far as one through 21 of all of our hitters. Um, anyone is the right person for the, the right situation. And so we continue to keep putting competition on each other rather than thinking that we're playing against the other other opponent. So um, it's going to let our, our girls swing free. And we talk about those eight runs, but, you know, don't forget that we had some awesome, you know, line drives that were caught, good plays made in the outfield that could have scored it two or three, four even uh, more runs there. Coach, you finished the uh, series sweep. How long do you celebrate uh, – the, as a series as a whole, the record setting 18 runs, Aliyah setting the new record. Um, and so how long do you celebrate that when you have a ranked opponent coming up in just a couple of days here? And how do you prepare for that? Yeah, I'm glad you asked that question because it's actually in our handbook as a rule. Um, we, we celebrate a victory for about an hour. And I mean, we, we celebrate like with fun and excitement and music in here. Um, and then we're on to the next game. And so we just we just literally talked about it in our huddle is we're only as good as our next game, our next cut back, our next pitch. Uh, and that's also Leah is, you know, yep, we reached the goal, we checked the box. Now what? What do you got for us now? Um, so it's so awesome that you asked that question because that's that's the vision and that's kind of the uh, the mantra of what's going on here is okay, what do you got next? Well, we, I might have created a monster because I brought it up to her that you got 91 wins in your career and her eyes open up and she said she's coming to get you. So she, <laughs> she's ready. She's got a lot of innings left in her, it sounds like to me there, Coach. You better be ready for that. But talk about Shannon and that grand slam in the first to get things going there and get her going. Yeah. You know, um, Shannon has put the bat on the ball in, in some key moments and maybe hasn't gotten the result result that she's wanted here so far. Um, and I think, you know, she drove the ball the other night and girl got a glove on it. Um, but to see her have the ability to do that and we kind of put her down in the lineup a little bit just to take some of that pressure off of her, um, you know, that that's who she is. Uh, we talk a lot about Aaliyah. Well, Shannon has a great leader to follow and she's becoming her own leader as well. Um, She's the one that swings the most throughout the week. You know, I think she puts up about 1,500 to 2,000 swings in like a matter of weeks. Uh, so I was very, very confident in her scoring a lot of runs in that opportunity. And, you know, the Grand Slam is just icing on the cake. Well, I, asked, I asked Aaliyah this too, but I wanted to get your opinion. Now that she's broken the school record, do you feel like there's kind of a weight off the team's shoulders? Yeah, I think, it, you know, it's the elephant in the room. Everyone wanted that for her. And every we also knew last year, um, and that's kind of why it was magnified, is last year when our season got cut short, it was like, oh, she was so close. You know, how can, how can we take that away from her? She's got to have another chance. And so when we got all of that information and that, you know, that the okay to bring them back, um, it was kind of like, all right, we're going to go get this thing. Um, so, but I do think now we get to focus on some other things. And I also believe that uh, the confidence in our team and knowing that they have a pitcher that's going to lead us that has that success. You know, you talk about our offense, that's why they can swing big because they know that Aaliyah is going to keep us in game. So it's me, so it's Bree, and the rest of the staff. And my last question: Do you think what Bree and and G and the new faces and the pitching in the staff watching this up close? Because Aliyah's talked about how she watched Mackenzie and Shelby and do their thing, and how that inspired her, knowing what she was coming to UCF. Can that inspire the current staff, seeing her accomplish this in person, and even future night pitchers to carry that tradition that UCF's developed from great pitcher, from great pitcher to great pitcher? Oh, absolutely. And, and that's the, the, they know what's up, you know, they, um, Angelina DeVoe, uh, you got to see her on Friday. Um, she said, 
well, make room over there because Aaliyah's face is going to go over by Allison Kime and uh, Stephanie Best. And what what makes that even more incredible, if you know Angelina DeVoe, she does not talk often. So when she just <laughs> drops that in there, you're, everyone's like, whoa. Uh, so, um, but yes, I it she sets the tone. She sets the standard. And our job as coaches and for program is we keep this thing, we, we leave it better than we found it. And we keep driving in that way to where, you know, we keep pushing the ceiling up and um, Aaliyah does that. And she set the standard for whoever comes in here um, after that. And what's awesome too is, you know, she's still in grad school and I, I hope to, she's going to be around next year as a grad assistant is the plan. Um, so she's going to be able to keep her footprint on this uh, program for a very long time. 